of your smoking accessory, kratom, or CBD needs. Visit Odds and Ends online at oe420.com. Time now for the gossip. You like that gossip? It's the Celebrity Buzz with a freaking Rika on Power 1017. 637 Celebrity Buzz. Jess, what you got today? Taylor Swift's father, Scott, is currently under investigation in New South Wales, Australia, following an altercation with members of the paparazzi. Mm. Two people were aggressively pushing their way towards Taylor, grabbing at her security personnel and threatening to throw a female staff member into the water, Swift's rep said in a statement. The incident took place in the middle of the night as Taylor and her entourage were getting off of a yacht. They were met by the paparazzi and Swift's group tried to open umbrellas to block the photographers from taking pictures of Taylor and the others, which apparently led to this altercation. I I will have to say, like... That paparazzi, man, that's got to be oh, annoying. yeah. That's got to be annoying. They cross the line, and they're, like, getting your face but and like, your personal space. E- even if they don't cross the line, like, crossing the line but is, most like, do, don't they? too many pictures. Like, enough. Like, I understand, oh, it's your duty, you're in the public eye. Yeah, but enough's enough. Like, after a while, it's like, okay. They're trying to get that money Can shot. I live a minute? <laughs> you know, like, I, I don't know. Like, I... Maybe maybe I'm a little bit more sensitive to it because I, I saw the crown. Oh and right, right. Like how wild how that whole yeah. thing it was. Yep. I mean, it's crazy. Paparazzi is wild. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. It, it might be. It's, I don't think it's as wild in 2024 over in the U.S. as it was back when Princess Diana. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think it's as wild with that. Di- like, if if King Charles or whatever went out to get ice cream or something, mm-hmm. I don't think it would be as with Camilla. I don't think it would be as wild as it was with, was Diana, with Princess Diana back then yeah, as it would be today, you know, or even with Harry and Meghan. Well, I don't know. Harry and Meghan went out to get ice cream, you know, in, mm-hmm. in Wales, you know, or something yeah. like that. Would it be as wild? I don't know, but for them maybe it was it was something back then with Diana. Mm-hmm. So wow, I mean, car chase chase them down yeah, in the car. I they know. still do all that. Yeah, I have no idea. You know, that's the so. Mm. Mm. And then Diddy is being sued again. This time it's for thirty million dollars by Rodney Jones. This is a producer videographer who claims and many other things that the hip-hop mogul made unwanted sexual advances and forced him to hire and engage with sex workers. It's now the fifth sexual assault lawsuit going against Diddy. Wild. Beyonce's new single, Texas Hold'em, has officially become her ninth solo hit, and it's on top of the Billboard Hot 100 chart. The country crossover earned 29 million streams, 29,000 sales, and 16 million radio impressions. The Queen Bee has become the first black woman in modern music history to top Billboard's hot country charts. Last week, of course, Texas Hold'em is holding that top spot at number one. I had that song in my head last night. Yeah, yeah, I it like is it. a good one. I like it. And then Kanye West blasted Adidas on Instagram, accusing the sports apparel company of selling fake Yeezy sneakers. Not only are they putting out fake colorways, they are not approved. And they're suing me for $250 million, he said. They're also not paying me for the shoes that they're putting out that have my name on it. He went on to accuse the company of using contract clauses and business experience to rape an artist one of y'all's favorite artists in front of y'all in broad daylight. Doesn't Adidas own it though now? I have no idea what that agreement. I thought we was. did a story about that like I a while ago that, that, all that Adidas together. took over. Well, now he says that they're putting out fake shoes, fake sneakers. They have mm-hmm. his name on them. It's a mess. It's a mess. Okay. And then Drake is still supporting Tory Lanez as he appeals his 10-year prison sentence for shooting Megan Thee Stallion in the foot. um, Drake posted a photo of Tory Lanez on social media on Monday with the caption 3U, which is slang for free you, with the number three representing open handcuffs. He has long sided with Tory Lanez in this incident and even called Megan in his song Circo Loco with that line. And he's like that beep lie about getting shots, but she's still a Sally and still don't get the joke, but she's still smiling. Many fans are outraged at Drake and Nicki Minaj for calling Megan a liar over the incident. Apparently, you know, there's no evidence to prove otherwise, but 
Drake supporting Tory Lanez. Okay. There you go. 642. It's the Bill and Jessica show. We got sports on the way. Good morning. Oh.